What's up guys? Welcome back to Airbnb ABCs. The other day I went into my Airbnb calendar and I wanted to open up a lot more of my calendar than I had open because I had recently heard that Airbnb is putting uh, more emphasis on people that have more availability and having your calendar open for 12 months or more is something that they were looking at. What I do is anytime I open those up, I go in and change my check-in and check-out requirements on major holidays. And there's several reasons why I do this. The one that may be most uh, uh, important to you all out there as far as making money is that you can control when people come and go around those holidays so that you can make sure that you maximize the days that folks can either check in or check out. Because even if you set a minimum stay of you know two nights or three nights or four nights or whatever you wanna stay, uh, it can be sort of manipulated in uh, ways that you didn't think about, where you may say it's a three night minimum stay, uh, four nights out or something like that, and what ha ends up happening is that reservation ends on, let's say, Christmas Day or the 4th of July or anywhere else in your calendar, and then you end up with that day being a turn day, or you may end up with that day being a completely vacant day, so that really high rate day, like let's say Christmas Day, someone wants to come stay through Christmas Eve, and then they leave, and no one wants to really check in until maybe the 27th because they want to enjoy the holiday with their family, that would leave you with a gap in in those really high revenue days. The other way that it really helps you out is it is going to be able to keep your cleaners and any other people that you have working for you from having to work on those major holidays. And in my opinion, that is one of the most important things. Take care of your people, uh, take care of them, ask them what days that they need off as far as, as you go. Now, other owners and usually cleaners don't work for only one owner and that's the same way ours are, but I'll ask them what days they need off. You know, Do they have uh, an anniversary? Do they have a, a birthday? Are they? Do they not celebrate the traditional holidays that you know most people celebrate and need those days off? And we can accommodate those things. What I do is I always go in and make sure that an Airbnb and Verbo those are uh, taken care of. And lately. Airbnb has made several changes due to their summer update. And this is something that came out in uh, spring of 2023 and it's being rolled out. And for the most part, it's not that big of a deal uh, as far as the things uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. The Airbnb still works pretty much the same way it used to, but they now have things that you can add in like checkout instructions so people can see that beforehand, read receipts on the messages, and uh, there's some price comparison tools. And there are some impacts to bookings that uh, customer service reps have told me uh, regarding this, but they say that that's working itself out and it's kind of understandable when they throw a huge wrench into a major computer program. So what happened was they moved where I normally go in and set my check-in, check-out instructions. And so what I'm gonna do is show you guys how they've changed that because it is actually an upgrade. Usually when the you know programs just arbitrarily change where things are, it usually just drives me nuts. This one is actually a major upgrade. So I'm going to show you how to do it, where it is. You can see the things that I have uh, already pre-populated for uh, stay restrictions. And then I'll also go ahead and show you guys again how to do that in Verbo. It's a little bit different and it's really like the old way in Airbnb. I did a video about this a while ago. So if you've seen that, you know, you, you, you probably know how to do that. But if not, hit the like button for me, subscribe down below, and let's get into how to set rule sets for Airbnb with this new summer update. So we're going to start on the page that you come to when you get into Airbnb and we're going to click on calendar. That's going to bring you to the multi-calendar. This is something that's uh, that's been there with Airbnb before but is now more powerful than it was. And over here you can see it says, you know, set your uh, seasonal rates and availability. And let's go ahead and click on create a rule set to see what we do with these things. Now when you get in here, you need to put, make a name for it. You need to select a color. That's what is going to be displayed on that multi-calendar. And you can do all sorts of things with pricing in here. Uh, most of these things I take care of through my price layup software. So the thing I wanna get down into is the availability. And that's the check-in and check-out dates. And we're not gonna do anything right now because as far as I know, this will affect your entire calendar. So if you do have markets where you need uh, no check-ins, no check-outs, uh, perhaps on like a Saturday or a Sunday, something like that, you can select that here and it should apply to your entire calendar. You know, someone will, I'm sure, correct me if I'm wrong on that. The way that you used to do rule sets is you would click on your actual uh, property 
and it would take you into your properties calendar and you would click on this like a date and then you would come over here to the right and it would allow you to change your your check-in and check-out uh, restrictions now what you do is you use this multi-calendar and let's go out here to august where we don't have many reservations let's do uh, the the third through the fifth here and this allows you to change all of your stay restrictions on all the property that you have all at one time. This is a major time saver because you don't have to go through each property and select it. So let's take um, August 3rd here. Let's say we don't want any checkouts or check-ins on Thursday, August 3rd. All we do is we click one and we drag down here to uh, to the other one. It looks like I did that sort of backwards. But and then this box comes up over here and you can select as many dates for this as you want. You come down here and you go into your rule sets and you can add a new rule set or you can use some of the ones that you've already populated but just keep in mind that these are check-in check-out restrictions based on days of the week so if that particular day date that you want to have um you know blocked off doesn't fall on the same day that it always does you're going to have to modify those so you can't just necessarily click christmas eve christmas day etc and uh get those you do need to select which days that aren't able to be checked in or checked out. But we're gonna go ahead and create a new rule set. It'll bring up this familiar box that we saw from just before. We'll title this one YouTube Test. And then we will just use the default color and we will come down here, that was a Thursday. So we will click the check in, check out dates, and we will say we, we can't check in on Thursday and we can't check out on Thursday, which means that they will have to book before Wednesday and leave uh, Friday or after. We will come down here and hit save. The save to you reuse with other dates and listings is checked by default. You can turn that on or off if you want. You will hit save, it will save. And it now has YouTube test here for these dates. You click save there. It's gonna take a minute and now it is saved and you can see that these dates have turned a different color. They are uh, this purplish color that we had on them and now people cannot check in or out on those dates. We can look farther down my calendar and we can get that out of here. Look farther down my calendar and you will be able to see that I have uh, some of these already done around Thanksgiving. I have uh, no check in, check out. Actually on the 23rd and the 24th, when you actually get into this and select this, uh, you are going to see that there are uh, ch check in all days except for uh, Friday and Thursday and check out all days except uh, Friday and Thursday as well. Doesn't say anything about Wednesday. I'm actually not sure why those are highlighted, but when you go into the calendars, you can see that you can check in or out on Wednesday. So I'm not really worried about it. Some things are just sort of best left alone. Now that we've seen how you can do that on Airbnb, we're gonna switch over to Verbo. I'm gonna give you the real quick uh, demonstration on how to do that because really nothing has changed, but it will show how this particular thing with Airbnb is actually a major improvement over what they used to have and what Verbo is running currently. So now we're in Verbo and you just click on whatever property that you want to, to change these on. If you want to do it on every single property, you're going to have to select every single property individually and that's really where Airbnb has a big advantage in this area as well as a lot of other things for their software but you click on the calendar and we're just here in November of uh, 2023 and I've already done uh, some work on these things and all you have to do is click on any date that you want to, to select for check-in, check-out um, restrictions. For example, we have the 17th selected here, and if we go over here to advanced settings, and it looks like we have the 17th and 18th, but that's only because I scrolled the mouse across there. It's just uh, part of working with uh, Verbo, and that's one of the great things about Verbo, right? But uh, you can select here to have Friday uh, check-in or Friday check-out. If you select those, it makes it so that you cannot check in or check out on Fridays, what we have selected here. And when we went into this uh, menu here on the right, it brought up these little uh, houses that have in and out arrows on them. And that lets you see really quick which dates have check in and check out restrictions. As you can see down here on the 23rd and 24th, I already have no check in, no check out on the 23rd and 24th. So that icon is completely missing. If we hit save on this on the 17th, now uh, that icon is missing and it is now um, not able to be checked in or checked out on. If we click it again, come in here, go to advanced settings again, 
deselect those or uh, you know make them blue however you want to look at that hit save that icon comes back up if you want to do multiple days it's very similar to airbnb but you have to do it on each individual property you can select let's say the 10th through the 17th it will bring up every date and you can select which dates you want to have check in or which days that you want to have check out Again, guys, if you want to do this on all your properties, you're just going to have to repeat this process over and over until you have all of your properties done. There are some property management softwares that can take care of this for you. I know Owner Res is one of those. For as far as I know, uh, Hospitable that I use uh, is in conjunction with Price Labs doesn't have anything like this that uh, you know is available. So this is the way I do. In having three properties, it's not that big of a deal. If I was upwards of you know 10 to 20 to 100 properties, it may be a bigger deal. And you know maybe we'll cross that bridge someday if we get there. So guys, that is the uh, update on creating rule sets and, and limiting those check-in check-out dates for one, so that you can maximize the revenue for your property, and two, so that your cleaners don't fire you. You for trying to make them work on a holiday and actually some of them just won't and you know more power to them for having a little bit of uh, barriers to their time and you know I think it's unreasonable for folks to work on Thanksgiving Day Christmas Day you know if they're not getting paid enormous amounts of money or if they just don't want to at all but if you guys like this video hit the like button for me uh, subscribe down below if you're not a subscriber yet so you don't miss out anything uh, that I put out on Airbnb VRBO short terminals click on the links that are up ahead there is a playlist about all the cabins uh, that we buy in the Smoky Mountains, the types of cabins we buy, how we manage them from afar, and all the trials and tribulations of running an Airbnb VRBO short-term rental business. I appreciate you guys watching today, and I'll see you in the next one.